over your neck. The following contains content that this human behind me does not own personally. Content such as music, videos, sounds, images, and all that jazz. So please, give my human a break and, and let her enjoy what she does. Seriously. That's it. What is up, people of the internet? My name is Freelance Amber, and welcome to another Death Battle reaction video. This, this episode is going to be Raven from Teen Titans. Regular Teen Titans, not that Teen Titans go crap. Versus Twilight Spar Sparkle from My Little Pony. So this is a battle of magic as well as emotions, I guess, because from Raven, from their, from, from their both, like, preview videos, Raven... Is all about like holding in her emotions and he's holding in her emotions while Twilight Sparkle well the exact opposite so it's really a matter of either either the bird or the pony's gonna win this like dep depending on emotions because well I don't know my reasoning as for who I want to win I mean as much as I mean for like nostalgia's sake I'd go with Raven but um for um but uh, like I said, like I've been saying, and I'm gonna repeat this every time, I'm, I'm not hardly into, like, DC, uh, anymore, but I did watch a bit of My Little Pony, like, some time before, I don't remember where I stopped at, but I think it was, like, I think it stopped somewhere around mid-season three, I think that's where I stopped at, but I know, but I don't know what season they're on. I think they're they're season they're maybe sixth season, seventh. I don't know. I like I said. I that's like I said. I stopped watching it. <laughs> so yeah, I kind of so so as for who wants want to want want to win this overall, I kind of want a Twilight Sparkle because even I have to admit, um, uh, uh, the show. I mean, everyone in My Little Pony, the show is it, it's pretty adorable. I especially love Fluttershy. I like Fluttershy. Actually, because, um, well, she's just too adorable, and she, and she just loves animals as much as I do. So, yeah, so I'm gonna have to, go, so I'm gonna go with Twilight Sparkle in this one, so. And if I lose this one, like I've been saying, like, at the ending of last, last season's death battle, and maybe I said it at the beginning, but every time I lose a death battle, I eat a bean boozle bean. It's gonna be completely random. And I'm gonna take, and I'm, and I'm gonna leave out the, uh, the, the blue ones, because, you know, the blue ones are not really that bad. Anyway, I got nothing else to say, so let the action begin in three, two, one. Emotions can be <laughs> powerful things. Uh, are we really gonna talk about feelings and crying and stuff? Well, yes. And how they fuel some pretty powerful magic. Sounds good. Like with Raven, the half-demon sorceress from the Teen Titans. And Twilight Sparkle, the nice. magical prodigy from My Little Pony. Yeah. Yep. Really doing this again. <laughs> He's whiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Okay, here we go. A strong emotion can drastically change a person. Fear can trigger instincts necessary for survival. Anger can increase adrenaline for incredible feats of strength. Yeah, that's And for this edgy looking chick in a wicked cloak, that's kind of her thing. This is Raven. From the day Raven was born in her home dimension of Azeroth, she wasn't the most popular girl around. Damn. Yeah, it's not exactly a good sign when right as you're born, the sky turns black and the whole world suddenly smells like farts. See, Raven. Raven is the daughter of a human mother and a fearsome demon. Hey who now. is literally made <laughs> up of hatred. Wow. I'm not even kidding. Because of her heritage, Raven's own mental state holds the key to a fearsome inner power. Interesting. She is an empath, a mage who can sense, create, and manipulate emotions. So her powers are all about feelings and stuff? That's pretty lame. Tell that to her when she's. <laughs> scrambles your brain or forces you to feel so greedy you steal from your boss. Oh, you don't need to convince me to do that. <laughs> hey, uh, I mean, oh, that's pretty intense. But hey, she's got a lot more deadliness packed away under that cool cloak. When yeah. she was 18 years old, Raven met her father for the first time. And it, uh, didn't go very well. Yeah, Demon Dad shot her mom with a grandma laser. That pissed off Raven so much, 
she finally let loose. This shadowy figure is her soul self, an extension of her spirit and manifestation of the powers inherited from Triga. That is Raven cool. often wields it as her primary means of offense and defense, though it can function on its own. I wish I had a pet bird that could do what the soul <laughs> self can. Wow. This beauty lets Raven fly, use its eyes and ears, or just punch people like a big old battering bird. It can drain the energy and powers of others and also serves as a sort of pocket dimension, which Raven ah. can trap a limited number of foes and objects within. Talk about convenient, but she can do way more. She can levitate, teleport, heal others, cast energy shields, phase through walls, and blast people with mystical energy beams. Yeah, I never saw like the new or Teen Titans. But there is one drawback. To wield her power, Raven must embrace emotion, and too much emotion risks opening her mind to Trigun's corruption. When she gives in to her darker side, her entire personality changes. Oh yeah, I remember What's that. The matter? Afraid of the dark? Oh, I remember that. I remember Under that. A new persona appropriately named Dark Raven. Dark Raven is stronger, tougher, and freakier than your everyday Raven. She yeah. can shoot lasers from her eyes, disintegrate stuff with her hand beams, and shapeshift. And her soul self is so powerful, it can wipe most people off the face of the earth Eek. in an instant. Eek. However, Dark Raven's incredible capabilities are a double-edged sword. By tapping into her father's demonic powers, she risks transporting Trigon himself to the living realm, kickstarting devastation across the universe. Ah. Kickstarting? I wonder what the tier rewards are like for that. Pledge 20 bucks and get an autograph from <laughs> Satan. Thankfully, she has been able to free herself from Trigon's control, granting her unlimited access to her own magical abilities. Sometimes she even wears white to celebrate the occasion. Or yeah. was that just for her wedding with Beast Boy? Oh wait, that never happened. These comic books reboot way too often for any relationships to actually have lasting consequences. Eh, true. Silly me. Last but not least, there's Raven's Golden Form, a spiritual body free from Trigon's influence, which Freaking manifested after poopy she air. turned evil and had to be killed by her friends, the Teen Titans. Mm. Oh, that's messed up. It happens a lot, actually. Anyway, Raven's accomplished plenty of incredible feats. She's bent steel girders with her magic, toughed out getting thrown butt first into a brick wall so hard it broke, uh, the wall, not, not her butt, and even helped Terra, a fellow Titan, raise the Teen Titans headquarters and the island it's on. Terra alone was barely able to stop the island's descent, and together they pushed it back up to its rightful place. This means Raven lifted more than half of the island's weight. The Shit. Titan's Tower Island is similar in location and size to Alcatraz, oh, which has a really? width of 559 yards. I didn't think Assuming it'd be like the most that. likely granite composition and accounting for a 30% hollow interior, I Raven's like energy a... output would need to be about 14 million megawatt hours. That's enough energy to power all of New York City for over three years. Raven's soul self can survive 30,000 feet below the surface of the ocean with no problem. That's almost 14,700 pounds per square inch. Damn. 42 times the PSI needed to crack most bones. Yeah. And it's tough enough to survive laser blasts from aliens that hurt Donna Troy. Who can survive moon busting attacks? The villain Sparta's lasers could disintegrate people in an instant, yeah. which requires nearly 3 billion joules of energy. 3 billion? And Raven's soul self powered through several of these blasts and held together. The soul self is also stupidly fast. It once flew from New York City to Blue Valley, Nebraska, and back in less than five minutes. <laughs> the distance between those cities is 1,166 miles as the crow, or raven, flies. To make this trip in time, Raven's soul self must have flown more than 36 times the speed of sound. Not impressed? Well, when she was golden, Ghosty Raven, she flew golden. between the Earth and Moon oh. like it was nothing. <laughs> so, plenty of impressive feats, but unfortunately, Raven's powers have daunting and often costly limits. When the soul self takes damage, Raven feels the pain herself. I guess that makes She's sense. She's kind of like a glass cannon, and overtaxes her own abilities pretty frequently. But don't disregard this as only mere physical ineptitude. When Raven utilizes emotions in combat, she tackles that emotion head on. The more negative the emotion, the more pain she feels. And don't forget, she's also struggling not to feel so Satan doesn't show up. With all that going on at once, it's no wonder she passes out sometimes. But with the help of her friends and her adoptive Azerathian family, Raven eventually overcame Trigon's iron grip and defeated him. Yeah, you'd think a guy like Trigon would think twice before messing with someone oh. as powerful as Raven. No! You stay away from me! You demon filth! They're not demons. Let me show you one. 
Azeroth, Metreon, Synthos. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> High above the peaceful pony. Park, okay, the here we go, guys. Canterlot rests among the mountaintops. There, a young filly had dreams as big as Canterlot Castle itself. Aww. Her name was Twilight Sparkle. This yeah. is so cute. Here we go again. I mean, we've seen a pony that breaks the sound barrier and one that breaks physics. So <laughs> Oh yeah! Powerful thing can this one do oh yeah, Rainbow with? Dash and All Pinkie Pie win death battle before. We're merrily out of the gate. Ugh, bring it in, Wiz. Your lame puns are musting with my script. Little Twilight wanted to learn magic at Princess Celestia's school for gifted unicorns. After a very uh, eventful entrance exam, she didn't just get accepted into the school. She became Celestia's protege, which is kind of a big deal since Celestia is pretty much pony god of the sun. Pretty Not much. Not only that, Twilight also earned her cutie mark. Oh, I remember those. It's that magical tramp stamp <laughs> a pony gets when they grow up. Magical tramp uh, stamp. Close enough. Twilight's cutie mark symbolized her life's calling, specifically her destiny in mastering the art of magic. This peppy purple pony wasted no time and hit the books to practice hard. By the time she was an adult, she'd read her entire collection of 20,000 books. 20,000? What a yeah. nerd. Boomstick, have you ever read a book before? Do gun manuals count? Sure, why not? Oh, there we go. Twilight learned all sorts of powerful and useful magic. She knows so many spells, it would take well over an hour to describe them all. Her memory is so crystal clear, she can recall a complex spell after a mere glance. But here's some highlights. She can move stuff with her mind, shoot concussive energy blasts, raise magic shields, and rapid fire teleport. She can manipulate gravity, ignite things on fire, freeze others in place, walk on clouds, mm -hmm. and even master the transfiguration spell. <laughs> As a filly, she turned her own parents into plants. Talk about weird. She's even transformed a single apple into a nest of bird eggs. Which, uh, hatched somehow. What? She just create life? Yeah. <laughs> but Twilight's life. magic doesn't just stem from her vast knowledge of spells and history. In the world of My Little Pony, magic is drawn from and controlled by a unicorn's emotions. Oh, here comes the touchy-feely stuff. There it the is. The stronger a unicorn feels about something or someone, the stronger their magic becomes. Well, I've always found magic is tied to my emotions. Whatever I'm feeling fuels whatever I'm doing. Eh. And the stronger I'm feeling, the stronger the magic. Pretty much. Across Equestria, oh, Twilight Jesus. Sparkle is one of the few ponies to master the most powerful magic of all. The magic of friendship. Uh -huh. Okay, Wiz, I know a metaphor when I see it. Isn't a night out with the girls so magical? <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's not it at all. In truth, friendship is the only weapon powerful enough to defeat Equestria's most dangerous enemies. What? They weaponized friendship? <laughs> awesome! Hey Wiz, I'm you're, you're my sorry. best buddy. I, you're and... forever. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> Freaking boomstick. Where are the friendship lasers? I think I remember Get that. off me. <laughs> um, oh yeah, whoops, I, I didn't... I slipped! Um. Twilight's friendship magic is at its most powerful when focused through the elements of harmony. When used together, these ancient artifacts are a near unstoppable force, even capable of overpowering the villain Tyrek after he stole Twilight's powers along with the rest of Equestria. Hey, Twilight's crown with her personal element contains a powerful magic is, is in its Equestria. Rights, enough to literally change the fabric of reality in another dimension with its mere presence. And of course, we gotta talk about those wings of hers. She was born a unicorn, but after completing an ancient spell about, what else, friendship, she transformed into an alicorn. A mix between a unicorn and a pegasus, and a chance to sell just a whole ton more merchandise. <laughs> it's a good thing too. Alicorn magic is leagues more powerful than a plain unicorn's, and Twilight needed the extra boost to defend Equestria as its newest princess. Like when she fought that Tyrek guy. After Tyrek absorbed the magic from Equestria's entire population, Twilight was forced to confront him herself while wielding the power of four alicorns. Yeah. I never got Why that far. Why did Dragon Ball Z with baby girl <laughs> horse toys? Anyway, <laughs> check out how Tira rocketed Twilight straight into this mountain, and she was totally fine thanks to her magic shield. By comparing Twilight's apparent size just before impact to her actual size of approximately four feet tall, we can estimate the okay. distance she was thrown to be about 145 feet. 
T-Rex then closed this distance at 64.5 miles per hour. Combined with his I'm estimated having my weight dad's of over 31,000 pounds, Twilight's shield had to stand up to over 8 million newtons of force. Damn! You know what? Forget it. I'm on board with this pony stuff. Starting to. Doesn't mean I am. Twilight is tough enough to survive bombardment by anvils and pianos, fast enough to fly over 300 miles per hour without using any spells, and even strong enough to lift and carry a rock weighing four and a half tons. Her telekinesis is strong enough to lift a 340 ton bear and even uproot this giant flower tree thing. <laughs> and with the other alicorn's magic, she can move the sun and the moon. Okay, yeah, friendship power's way better than expected. <laughs> However, if Twilight has one glaring weakness, it's her unwavering neurosis. Oh, you mean how she's obsessed over staying organized and if one small thing goes wrong, she totally loses it? Yes. Yeah. She has a, well, difficult time dealing with unexpected stress. More often than not, she even makes bad situations worse I never even saw the movie. But hey, when push comes to shove, Twilight Sparkle pulls her weight and more. You have no magic! You're wrong, T-Rex. I may have given you my alicorn magic, but I carry within me the most powerful magic of all. <laughs> the magic of friendship. So I guess there is Helen Equestria. <laughs> all right, the all right. combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! All right. Twilight? Hmm. Transdimensional teleportation? Wait. Let's give it a try. I'd laugh if in this death battle, Terra. Oh! <laughs> if Terra Strong was voicing those two. Hmm? <laughs> saw nothing. Right. Oh, shit! It's just like in Teen Titans Go, um, Raven. She has obsession with, um. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Darkness takes. Okay. Oh no, not again. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Huh? Has a lot that's for your sense. Okay. 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 Whoa. <laughs> Please work. I want it. I need it. Hello? It's mine. Oh, mine. Did they make her drool? Ha! Now I've got you right where I want you. Get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> That was odd. K.O. Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned that the Damn only it. thing more powerful than friendship <laughs> is a giant bird spirit colliding into me at Mark 30. I knew it. This I had doubts. This was a tricky one. Both Raven and Twilight possess numerous spells and techniques that could end the other quickly and easily. Since they were pretty even in how many ways they could finish each other off, this fight really came down to strength, durability, and performance. First of all, it's pretty obvious Raven's telekinesis has been shown to be much stronger than Twilight's. But Wiz, what about when Twilight moved the sun and moon? That's when she had the magic of Princess Celestia and Luna, and it's well established that only their specific type of magic can move those celestial bodies. So, you're saying you want us to move the sun and the moon? Well, I do it myself, except I don't have your magic. 
With her own magic, Twilight has never shown anything close to the kind of force Raven used to lift the Teen Titans Tower. Raven had the durability advantage, too. Remember how Twilight's shield held up against a hit a little over 8 million Newtons? Well, Raven's soul self is tougher than Donna Troy, who can shrug off a blast worth 296 trillion Newtons. That's, a uh, 16 more zeros, in case you're wondering. What and the don't hell? forget Twilight had the power of four alicorns at that time. The shield wouldn't have saved her from Raven's soul self anyway. Not only could it absorb Twilight's powers and emotions, and not only was it capable of operating while Raven was unconscious, but it also made a mean dive bomber. Raven's soul self could fly at speeds exceeding Mach 36. Since it's often been used as a battering ram to hit enemies, we know it has mass, but not exactly how much. However, given its size, strength, and durability far exceeds Raven's own, its mass is likely greater than hers. Hmm. Let's just lowball it and say they're equal, all right? Sure. Adding Raven's mass to the Mach 36 calculation, the Soul Self's ramming force at top speed comes to 15 million newtons of force, far greater than what Twilight's shield has sustained. Damn it. Ain't no pony walking away from that. Plus, Twilight's positive attitude meant Raven didn't have to even worry about pain when using her emotions against her. While they may have matched each other in spells and skill, Raven's more powerful traits and exceptional soul self earned her a hard-fought victory. Yep, Raven really ponied up for this one. Damn it, the sick. is Raven. Damn it! Fuck! Shit! I had doubts! Thanks for watching, guys. Okay. If you want to see commentary on this episode, just click that okay. little box over there and start a first membership trial. And if you want the battle music for yourself, you can click the link in the description below and get it off iTunes. See you the next one. Okay, who's next? Jotaro vs. Kenshiro. Okay, I never saw JoJo's, um... Bizarre. I never saw JoJo's Bizarre Adventure if that's where those two are from. So I really don't know who to go for. But fuck, damn it, Twilight. But I, I, I did say that I had my doubts about Twilight. I even said it. I had a feeling, and yet I still went with Twilight. I'm sorry, Brony fans. Well, I did what I said I was gonna do. So, so we're gonna, so we're gonna eat one bean. So, hang on. So, let this. Let's this spin. What's it gonna land on? Juicy pair of booger. Okay, uh, that's not entirely bad. Uh, we will go with this one. Oh, dear Lord in heaven. I got, well, got my water with me. Dear Lord in heaven. <laughs> it's pear. Eh. It pear. Not really a fan of pear, but meh, I'll take what I can get. Anyway, um, so Raven won, and despite saying I have my doubts about Twilight Sparkle, I still have I still went with Twilight Sparkle because I just thought that she was adorable. But I should have known that friendship is not nearly enough to what Raven uh has going for her. So so to any Brony fans out there, I can already I can already see some of you whether um, whether you agree to this uh, battle or not. I can already like imagine or see you guys like start like running to um, Rooster Teeth headquarters or screw text in Austin, right? Yeah, I think it's in Austin. Like go to Austin with your torches, like like pitchforks and torches, and just like go over there and say that's bull crap. But still, it's pretty good, and I could and I. And I can kind of see why, how, why, and how Raven won that. So, uh, so yeah, this is still a good death battle. As for the next one, I think those two are from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I probably, I think, I don't know. I've, ne I've never seen it, but I know some of you are probably gonna say, "Go watch it. It's awesome." So next, the next death battle is uh, Jotaro and Kenshiro. So, yeah. So that's about it. So I got nothing else to say other than pretty good death battle. Pretty good death battle, battle over us. So, until the next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts of this death battle in the comment section down below. If you like this video, fist bump that like button. And if you really like, the, you really like this video and what I do in general, go ahead and subscribe. Also, remember to hit that bell button to be notified of my latest reactions. And follow me on Twitter at FreelancerAmber for pretty much the same, same thing. Or just random shit in general. 
So remember to stay awesome, be nice animals, don't be dicks, keep moving forward, and I will see you all in the next video!